torso rotation using a uh, band, a resistance band with no handles. Secure it to a banister, a wall, something that's not gonna move. If you have like a door hook, you can shut it in a door. Otherwise, if you don't, this is how you do it. Make sure you give yourself enough room. Tie it in a double knot just so it doesn't go anywhere. So once we have that double knot, give it a little tug so it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna come out here, take your right hand, grab it so the, the loop or, is right here on the end. Put your other hand, uh, interlace your fingers. Your feet are wide apart. I'm gonna twist to my left. I'm gonna twist and come back. Now, if this is digging on your thumb side, change it. So grab it so the top part is up and your tail is up here. Interlace your fingers, make a sandwich, get your tension. Look at your thumbs the whole time. Now twist, look at your thumbs, my hips don't move. If you need a little bit more resistance, widen your stance, twist, and come back. Each time your eyes are on your thumb and your body rotates as a unit. Then of course you would stop, put your other hand on the other side, interlace your fingers, and you would do 10 to the other side. Your second exercise, unhook your knot. You can always do this one last too, does not matter the order. Untie it. I probably would do it last. Now grab it so you can do a rowing position. You can sit or you can stand. Make sure that you inspect your band. Make sure it doesn't have any tears or anything like that, that it's gonna snap and break. All you're gonna do is make sure that it's the same length. Feet are wide. Your elbows are slightly bent. All you're gonna do is pull it toward you, hold for a three count and release it. Now, if it's too easy, walk your hands up the band, hold it again, pull, hold, two, three, release. Now, my knees are slightly bent, my eyes are forward, my chest is forward, and release. You would do 10 of these, holding each time for your shoulder, and release. Now you can also do the seated in a chair. You would just make sure that you're, when you're seated in the chair that your arm is the same height as your band. We're gonna do the chest. So we're gonna spin around. We got one in each hand. Once again, my uh, straps, my end of the band is right at the bottom. All you're gonna do is bring your elbows in. Now if that's rubbing on your thumb Make sure that they're down. You can grab it wherever you like for the chest. All you're gonna do is push one leg forward, get a staggered stance, extend the band, bring it back. Extend the band, bring it back. Same thing, 10 of these as well for the chest press. You can alternate if you do another set, which leg you have forward, as long as you have a good wide stance. This is gonna be harder. This is going to be an easier stance, chest press. Those are just three exercises you can do with the exercise band to help with your golf swing. Have a great day, bye.